So we're standing here with the one and only best South American player that has ever existed, Yogo Portela. How was your experience uh, at the Belgium Open today? Well, to be honest, it's been great. Um, I, I'm really enjoying. I'm seeing some old friends here. Uh, I'm loving the city. Antwerp is like beautiful. You know, we came here two days before the tournament. Me, my family, my friends, and I, I'm really having a good time. And of course, the darts put put it all together as well. And I had a great result last yesterday. Um, and uh, I'm feeling good today as well. So yeah, hopefully it'll be a, another good day. Oh, no, that's good to hear. So you have like a it's a, like a small holiday with your family and also some friends. You you just told me uh, Bruno was also here. Yes, yes. Bruno and his family, uh, my wife and uh, my daughter are here because uh, on, on Wednesday was uh, my wife's uh, birthday. So I treat her with um, a, a holiday in Antwerp. You know. And uh, yeah, it's been great. It's been uh, fantastic, to be honest. We met another couple of uh, from Brazil. Um, the guy is Portuguese and the lady is Brazilian. Um, and yeah, we've been like a group of eight now. And like it just just been so much fun. It's, it's it's so good. It's so good to enjoy, apart from the darts as well. And yeah, it's been uh, happening for me and the dart boys. Well, that's definitely good to hear. How, how is the darts going on now? Like we have, we've had this weekend, you, have, you showed some pretty good results uh, yesterday, hopefully today as well. But if you if you just look at the, the last year, for example, I mean, you, you played with uh, Team Brazil again on, on the World Cup. So how, how is the darts uh, going on for you? Yeah, the last year, my, my darts has been up and down. My darts hasn't been great the way I wanted. But um, a lot of the problems that I had, a lot of personal problems I had, I managed to solve it. I'm in a, a, lot, a lot better spots in a personal life now, and uh, the darts are coming back together. I managed to put a couple of uh, uh, sponsors, uh, managers, uh, uh, and a very good deals for me for next year as well. So, like for the future, uh, it, it looks better than ever, better than ever. So I do believe I'm close enough to my best, uh, but I I still can can be better than I ever was you know so uh, I, I'm looking forward to next year I want to I, I want to challenge the pros again one more time yes we would love to uh, see that too I mean one thing I always love to talk with you about is the darts in South America in Brazil um, I, I think this year is the first time the the world championship qualifier will be outside of Brazil in uh, Costa Rica it was um, how is the, the development of darts over there now uh, well um, yeah it, we started doing the, the South America qualifiers in, in Brazil for obvious reasons. It was a lot easier for me to organize there. But then uh, a couple of guys that w wanted to take over and they did a very good job. So we give them the opportunity to do uh, in Costa Rica last year for the first time. And then um, they did a very, very good job. Uh, the CDC was with, you, with us as well. So they support us with all the... Um, uh, tablets and dark connect registration and everything else so it, it was a very very good and well-run tournament and we decided to keep that for the time being so I think uh, Costa Rica is doing a lot for darts and um, they have good players and they are willing to improve and uh, I want to see what what's come from there yeah it's good it's been good well, hopefully, uh, well, yeah, we, we'll see what, what's uh, going on in uh, Costa Rica. And it was, as you said, the second time uh, this year. So, uh, no, thank you and uh, hopefully uh, good luck today. Yeah, thank you very much for the opportunity.